Hey, what's up guys? Before we get into the video, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to Banggood for making this video possible. They hooked it up with a Raspberry Pi 3 as well as a uh, Raspberry Pi Camera V2 so that way I could make this video tutorial for you guys. So links will be in the description in case you want to pick these up. Uh, huge shout out to them. So in this video, we're going to be installing AstroPrint onto Raspberry Pi, specifically a Pi 3 with an optional camera. You will need a Wi-Fi dongle. Um, this is the one I recommend for compatibility. Even if you have a Pi 3, you will need it. Uh, along with a micro SD card, 8 gigs is plenty and they're really, really cheap. Links will be in the description for those as well. So then we're gonna head over to AstroPrint's website. Links to all this stuff will be in the description like always. We're gonna go over to the downloads page. And on the downloads page, we're gonna need to download the image uh, for the Raspberry Pi. I downloaded it in the zip format. This is compatible with the Raspberry Pi 1, 2, and 3. So any of them will be fine. If you can find a great deal on a Raspberry Pi 2, I'd say that's probably a good option to go with. Once it's done downloading, you're gonna to need to extract the image file. I, I just do it on the desktop for simplicity using WinRAR. Um, you can use whichever extraction tool or software you have installed, they all work the same. Then you're gonna to need to head over to this etcher.io. Uh, it's what they recommend. I'm sure Windows 32 disk imager would work fine, but this works great. So uh, once you download that, you're just gonna go ahead and open it up and browse to the image file that you extracted so make sure you know where it's at i again extracted mine on the desktop um, just to keep things simple so select image browse to your astro print uh, extracted file and then you're going to need to pop in your micro sd card and it should auto detect it like it did with mine if not just select it but make sure you select the right device and not like your primary hard drive and then click flash it'll take a little while um i skipped it but it'll flash the whole thing and it'll verify the whole thing um i'm not sure what mine took in total i'd say like five or six minutes i saved you guys the boring time and just cut that all out and in the end you should be greeted with this little flash complete screen and we are done on the computer for right now and we're going to move over to our raspberry pi at this point you're going to need to take your raspberry pi and plug in your little wi-fi dongle i show the camera again if that's something you want to do um, it's optional and you plug the raspberry pi's uh, wi-fi adapter into any available slot then flip it over shake the micro sd card with the image file the astro print image file that you just flashed pop it into the micro sd slot then connect it to your printer. You can do this later on, but I just do it for now just so that way everything's plugged in. I don't have to go back to it. And then if you're not going to do the camera, just go ahead and plug in the power and sit tight for a second here. If you are going to use the camera, then you're just going to lift up the brown tabs on the, I guess, uh, slot that it goes into. Make sure that the pins are facing you if you're, you know, in the same direction that this video is in and it'll pop down into place. And then with your thumbs, just make sure you secure that brown tab that you lifted up. That'll just ensure that the ribbon cable is indeed locked in place. After that, go ahead and plug in the power and we are ready to go back to the computer. Now you're gonna go under your Wi-Fi uh, connectivity and you should get an Astro print pop-up like I did here, Astro box. It'll take a little while. It literally took four or five minutes. So don't stress if you don't see it instantly. You can do this from a tablet or a phone or anything really. I did it on the computer for simplicity. And then you're gonna to navigate to 10.10.0.1 in your browser. That'll connect you to your Astro box. And now you're just gonna be following on screen instructions. So you're gonna create a name for your Astro box. I named mine Delta Printer because I have a Delta printer that I will be building for you guys the next week or two here. Um, and I'll probably be using this for that. Even though in the video I show it with my Annette A8, so I just named it Delta 3D Printer. This is nice if you have multiples. Then connect it to your Wi-Fi network. Um, mine is, I thought it was gonna be silent. It's kind of like an inside fart joke. And type in your password, um, you know, to connect to your Wi-Fi network. That way you can uh, allow the Astro box to also connect to your Wi-Fi network. Once it's done, you should get the success screen and you can click next, which is gonna be Astro Print Account. You should make one of these at some point or another. That way you can use all their cloud slicing and cloud storage. I'm skipping it for now. 
And again, if your printer is already plugged in via USB, you can just click continue. If not, then plug in your printer to the Raspberry Pi now and click connect. It did detect that I was using Marlin. I had to change the baud rate because mine uses 115 200. So make sure you choose your baud rate and um, it'll probably choose your driver for you, but make sure it's correct and click connect. And as long as everything's correct, again, you want your printer to be on if it's going to be connecting to your printer. It actually might work with it not being on, but I would recommend turning your printer on at this point and you are ready to rock and roll. You have installed Astro Print. So essentially you're done if you're not doing the camera. Now, if you are going to install the camera, follow along with me and I will show you guys what you need to do next. There's a bunch of settings and stuff. So um, you're going to need to download Putty, which I will link you guys to again. Also, all this stuff will be in the description. Download whichever version you have. I'm installing the 64-bit version for my Windows. Once that's open, you're going to need to type in your Raspberry Pi's IP, which you can find under AstroBox settings. So you can see mine, mine's 192.168.0.20. And it'll say, you'll get a little window like this. And the login is Pi. The password is Raspberry. That's the default uh, username and password for the Raspberry Pi. Then you're going to need to type this on screen command. It's sudo space raspi uh, dash config enter it has to be entered in just like that. So make sure you don't, you know, space things incorrectly. Then you'll get this window. You're going to use your keyboard to navigate it. You're going to go down to five, which is interfacing options and hit enter. Then hit enter on option number one. And it'll say, would you like the camera interface to be enabled? Select yes. Okay, it'll say it's been enabled. Then scroll down to finish, hit enter. It'll tell you to reboot. Mine didn't because I already had rebooted, but you'll need to reboot at this point. Then you can close out of the window and head back to your Astro Box and go under your settings, go under your camera image video, and it should have detected it as a USB camera, which is fine. And then you can choose your video streaming and coding options as well as your resolution. Um, you'd probably want to do 1280 by 720. Click save. And once you go back over to your Astro Box and you go to the camera now, you can launch up a streaming video. And if everything went correctly, there you go. You can see the live video feed, which doesn't look great, but heck, it's nice to be able to monitor your prints. And with better lighting, it would look better anyway. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, huge thank you to Banggood. Sorry for the lack of videos. I've been in school like, like crazy the last month and a half, two months, and I got really sick. So I'm feeling better now, and I decided to finally pump this video out. It's way overdue. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.